What's good, people? I try to bring y'all different maps and I try to bring out different guns. One thing, oh, by the way, before I even get started on that there tangent, this is my secondary YouTube channel. And so if you enjoy what you see here, then subscribe to that YouTube channel because that's where I go live. I stream this game Wednesday and the weekends. Now, back to what I was saying, I try my best to give y'all different maps right what i want to do is give y'all different maps and guns that you all use right stuff like the m16 um well shit i guess that that's really it honestly you know what i say that here's another one sks i've seen a fair few amount of players using an sks but y'all know me i like things that stun the SKS and the Molson are like the M76, or my bad, are like the SVD and the M82. One is good if you know how to aim. Another is good if you can hit somebody multiple times. And uh, how, how, how do you think I fall in that there category? But that's a whole different uh, t topic. We're on Sawmill. Yeah, I know. Like, I barely feature this map. But, hey... Here we are. But why did I come running straight back here to this here uh, housing area? Well, I thought someone would be back here. As in someone would spawn back here. Well, that was wrong. But then I also thought, as containers right there, I also thought someone might run back there. Well, I was wrong there too. But I was checking the map. You just saw me and as I said, the containers right there. All the stuff is in the center of the map. I should be near all of the stuff. So, that's where we're headed toward. Like I said, folks, I try to bring out different maps, but some maps, man, they're just... They're just boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, ah, high player count lobbies make for interesting encounters. Sometimes it's not the case. Other times, it'd be a few... But smart players that make a game interesting. Right? I mean, that's just how I see it. Your mileage may vary. Oh, we have gunshots. What'd I tell you all? I gotta be near. Oh, that's a whole gunfight. I gotta be near all of the stuff. So now they've reached the actual sawmill within a map called sawmill on sawmill. Right? These guys are still shooting. And I'm literally saying to my TV out loud, that's right, keep shooting. Yep, keep shooting, keep draining all your ammunition and all your energy. When I say energy, I mean mental brain capacity, if they're using any. And then I'll find you. Well, you know that old saying, be careful what you uh, seek, because you may find it. I am right near somebody, and I don't know it until roughly about now. Now, what's funny is, as soon as I headshot this guy, the buttons are flipping on time safe, and you just heard time safe is now unlocked. Okay. Cool. Also, the tower was used. Okay. But, I'm gonna keep all that in the back burner. Someone is up here, and they have the safe opened. I need to find out where they're at before they cause any damage.
Hands up in the comment section if you would have thought someone else is nearby. Hands down in the comment section if you would have gotten killed by that guy in that bush. My hand is down. Honestly, folks, I got lucky in that their uh, surprise ambush. Get, get it? A ambush? Hostile? Anyways, yeah. Someone... Is that a tower being used again? Wait, that is right. Someone did use a tower. Let me go over here and go prone and try to wrap my head around a, around a scenario. But yeah, that guy was in that bush the entire time and the guy in the time safe didn't even know it. And this is when I realized the time, not the time safe, the tower is over there. And then it goes away. Okay, so someone hit it and now it just went off cooldown. All right, cool. No pun intended. But yeah, I was going to save this question until the end of the video, but now there's a bit of downtime. So let me ask you this. If you are a developer in this game, and for like April Fool's week, if not April Fool's day, which would you remove? The detector from every single map, or, a, or all bushes on all maps? Which would you remove? I'm going to say the detector. And you know why? Scary players are, go are going to find a spot to hide regardless if it's a bush or not. Players will change their camouflage to hide on snow maps. Players change their camouflage to hide on, hide on foresty maps. Right? A bush is just a, is like the ultimate way to hide. But if you take away the detector, I mean, sure, there's ports in that too. Honestly, damn, I should probably put ports in that equation too. Uh, take away the detector and ports, or take away all the bushes on every map. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Now, when it comes to this part in the encounter, where everything's quiet and no one's making any noise. That's expected. Sawmill is a small-ish lobby. And then someone hits a comm station. And I'm thinking it's right in front of me. That's why I'm crouch walking toward the toward the damn station. The comm station, right? But then, I hear it. And I'm like, so it's not this one. So which one could it be? Wait a minute. When I shot the first guy and that tower was hit, this guy hit the tower. When I shot the first guy, this guy right here didn't pay any attention. This guy hit the tower as I was shooting the other guy and then I went to go investigate the time safe and turns out this guy was back here the entire time. That is a, uh, I don't know what to say about that. If you hear gunshots near you, wouldn't you uh, either investigate or run? And, I don't know, not stay in the same damn spot? That's just me, though. That's just me. And I'm sorry to tell you all this, but I'm not going to open the container. Anyone know why I'm not opening the container? Look at my threat icon. It's still flashing. Someone's still here. As in, they know where I'm at, but I don't know where they're at. Now, sure, I can go hit the detector and try to find them, but 
I'm going to be running straight toward him. And all they got to do is wait for me. Now, there are some players on this here platform who will do exactly that. But I'm not one of them. But let me go back to the question to ask to you all from before in case it didn't make it clear enough. Let's say you're a developer for the game, uh, this game in particular, and you had two choices for April Fool's Week, or day, rather. Take out the detector and ports from the game for 24 hours, if not, what, 24 times 7, which is some number I can't figure out on the top of my head. Or, remove all bushes from every single map. Which... What do y'all do? And people, I can't stress this enough. For every time you perform an action in this game, walking, reloading, healing, scoping in, literally everything you do in this game can get you spotted. If not with someone's eyes, then with someone's ears. I can tell you the amount of times that I'm walking nearby a house and I hear somebody reload a damn Luger and I'm like, why would you reload a Luger? You have no gun. And then I just walk in there and I just sh and I shoot him and kill him. Right? Reloading can get you killed. If you're using a bandage in a tree, and I'm walking past said tree, I can hear you in the tree wrapping the bandage around your arm. You're going to die. So, you can hide in the bush all you want to, right? But, in my opinion, you're missing out on the game. And you're not having fun. Unless you really think sitting in a bush is fun. People, if I, I would just take a flamethrower to this entire game and burn all the trees. And just make it all open. Well, not really open because there's still going to be natural cover like rocks and shit, right? But take a flamethrower to every single damn bush in the game and watch how the player numbers drop. And simultaneously, watch how much fun this game can, this game can become. Just watch. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.